Hey kids, Mr. Adam here. Books can provide some of the best adventures you'll ever go on. So join me today as we travel to the moon. Moon, Earth's Best Friend. Written by Stacy McAnulty. Illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Look up. Look up. Look up. It's me, Moon. I'm Earth's best friend. Where Earth goes, I go. We have been together since the beginning. Almost. Let me tell you our story. Once upon a time. About 4.5 billion years ago, a space rock the size of Mars crashed into baby Earth. Big ol' mess. Pieces of rock, chunks of Earth, and even lava were blasted into space. This crash trash came together to make me. A satellite. Actually, I'm Earth's only natural satellite. Natural, not created by Earthlings. Satellite, I circle Earth. She has thousands of human-made satellites too. They're mostly metal and plastic, not exactly best friend material. Guess that makes me Earth's number one real sidekick. It takes me 27.3 days to go around Earth once. It also takes me 27.3 days to spin once. Coincidence? I think not. Means I'm dependable. My face always smiles at Earth. You never see my backside. But you probably noticed I look different every night. Fun, right? Check out my phases. New moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, Waxing gibbous, full moon, doesn't make wolves howl. Waning gibbous, last quarter, and waning crescent. Some other planets have best friends too. I am moon, but I'm not the only moon in the solar system. Of all the moons, I'm fifth biggest. I'll always be Earth's pal, but that doesn't mean we're twinsies. She's bigger four times bigger, and her gravity is six times stronger. Gravity, the invisible force that makes an apple fall to the ground instead of flying up to the sky. A cow that weighs 600 pounds on Earth would only weigh 100 pounds on me. Speaking of cows, Earth has cows, and nursery rhymes, and nursery rhymes starring cows. But a cow has never jumped over me. I'm too far away for even a kangaroo to make that leap. Average distance between Earth and me, 238,855 miles. You could fit 30 Earths in that distance, and probably a gazillion cows. BFFs help each other out. I keep Earth from being too wobbly. This might be the most important thing I do, and you probably didn't even know about it. With me, gentle spinning, my gravity at work. Without me, topsy-turvy. Don't worry, moon gazers, you're never without me. I don't disappear during the day. I'm always here for Earth. You just can't see me when it's super bright out, or when it's cloudy, or when I'm on the other side of Earth. I can prove I'm always here. Check out the ocean's tides. High tide happens twice a day. Low tide happens twice a day. That's gravity again, my gravity, pulling on Earth's oceans. I have the best views of Earth, and Earth has the best views of me, but some Earthlings wanted to see me up close. I'm the only other place in the universe where man has set foot, and I do mean man. I'm still waiting for my first female astronaut. I've had 12 moonwalkers and a few left footprints. And some of those footprints are still here. No wind or rain or snow to mess them up. Other things you won't find on me. Oxygen, mosquitoes, which is a good thing I think. Plants, liquid water, animals, including cows. Things you will find on me. Rocks, really big rocks, more rocks. Presents from Earth, stuff left behind by untidy astronauts, 
nail clippers, golf ball, falcon feather, hammer, American flag. Earth and I have so much fun together, like when we play Eclipse. Solar Eclipse, I hide sun for a few minutes. We play this during the day. Lunar Eclipse, Earth's shadow passes over me. We play this at night. I'm always here for Earth. I'm always here for you. Where Earth goes, I go. And where Earth goes, you go. Guess that makes us best friends too. The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of Mr. Adam's adventures.